you said y'all were putting this volume together. And I said I had to do something. And it pushed me to really put it together because, I mean, the impact politically, the potential impact politically of the book. I mean, I remember when I got Manny Marable's book and I I got it from someone who was like, this is the best book I've ever read. <laughs> and, and wow. So I immediately know that that's not the case. And I'm already, and I'm like, well, you know what? Let me just save my attack on them until after I've read the book. And the impact of it on me was, was deep on a few different levels. I mean, one, the just obvious, heavy-handed political intervention that was designed to create a, a liberalized image. I mean, some of the things I couldn't even understand, like the mm-hmm. post-trip thing about Osama bin Laden. Like, what is this even about? <laughs> like, 9-11 yeah. was 15, 13 years ago. Like, it just, you know, the, the, the nature of it was so ham-fisted that it just enraged me, really, in the context of what was going on here. Because, I, you know, I think, as, as, as you put it out there so correctly, Mr. Coates, I think the impact of the autobiography, whatever its flaws, the impact of the coming on of YouTube um, and, and the ability to sort of directly unmediated by others for younger people like myself to hear the voice and the thoughts of Malcolm X and had such a profound impact. Um, I've, tra- I've, I've been privileged enough to travel around the world to areas where people are struggling. And you know, no matter what the language, no matter what the knowledge, no matter where it is, if people are struggling and fighting against oppression and for liberation, Malcolm X's image is there. Um, it's so relevant to so many people. I even saw today, the most famous communist politician in Brazil, which there means something, unlike America, um, offering an appreciation of, of Malcolm X. And just the depth of that is so big. So I was just terrified of what the impact of this book could be because it would have the imprimatur of Manny Marable, whatever else we think about him, that would open a lot of doors, um, that it just had the imprimatur of, of a major press, it was thick. Uh, and the impact that you know the Martin Duberman uh, biography of Paul Robeson has had. And I'm certainly less critical of that book than I am of this one. But I haven't seen over the years how these so-called seminal biographies, I might make a similar argument against Black Against Empire about the Black Panther Party, but these seminal biographies that are put out by these uh, major publishing houses usually tend to have the the ability to misdirect people's thoughts. And that's what led me to bring it. So uh, to want to be a part of the text, I would say just quickly in terms of the responses, I'm a little hesitant to say this, and maybe I'm gonna say too much, but I feel like we won. I, 